Okay, here we have an indefinite integral to evaluate, and it looks like this integral is set up nicely for a u substitution. We have uh, an x squared, and we have the derivative of x squared, which is x. Well, not exactly the derivative, but a constant multiple of the derivative. So let's straight away do a nice little u substitution here. Say so u is equal to negative x squared, which means du would be equal to negative 2x dx. We don't have a negative 2x dx, we have a 5x dx. So yeah, I'm going to show a little bit of extra work here. You may not need to do this, but I'm going to get rid of the negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 2. So we'll have, well, let's say negative 1 half du is equal to x dx. And we need a we need a 5x dx, so let's throw a 5 in front of both sides, times 5, times 5, and see negative 5 over 2 du is equal to 5x dx. Okay, so we'll plug, we'll use this substitution, the negative 5 dx, or the, the 5x dx will become a negative 5 over 2 du, and the negative x squared will become a u. Okay, so let's apply our u substitution. So this should be negative 5 over 2 times the integral of, well, just e to the u du. And we know that e, the integral of e to the u du is e to the u. Okay, so that should be, oops, let's go back to black. That should be negative 5 over 2 e to the u plus c. And let's back substitute. u is uh, equal to negative x squared. So we have negative 5 over 2 e to the negative x squared. And don't forget your constant of integration. And we are done. We are done with this one. We applied the rule for the antiderivative of e to the u. The antiderivative of e to the u du is equal to e to the u plus c. Okay, that about does it for this problem.